Okay, I got cut off because I closed the door. Okay, so Ethereum baby. We're talking about Ethereum babies, okay? There's millions of Ethereum babies, okay? They're just Ethereum clones. And so you need to look at that. If, you're, if your favorite fucking coin that you're speculating on, speculating on is a fucking Ethereum baby, it's a th an ERC-20 token, it's created... <coughs> some dude in a fucking garage, like, took Ethereum code because anybody can do it and they fucking took the Ethereum code and they slapped a new name on it and they call it their own fucking coin and they talk all this bullshit and it's not any new technology it's just old fucking Ethereum technology and it fucking takes like $20 to move like $5 of coins right like holy fuck come on seriously guys okay so the reason why we're on this topic is because XLM, XLM is an XRP baby, right? XRP is this big pregnant mama that fucking shit out of XLM, okay? They were working together before, and the taco stand guy, whatever, whatever the fuck his name was, wanted to break off and branch off and do a new technology and called it XLM and stuff like that. They had a disagreement on whatever, God knows what, you know? But it looks like X. RP is designed for cross-border payments and XLM might be designed for like micro payments and they're trying to bank the unbanked they're trying to go to fucking Africa and all the motherfuckers in Africa that are running around naked or whatever that can't do shit they're trying to give them a cell phone and give them some XLM and make them part of the new financial system <coughs> okay so that's a fucking XRP baby is XLM, and they, they got a good project. It's supposedly a non-for-profit organization, and they've been consulting with the government, just like XRP has been consulting with the government and the World Economic Forum and all of the motherfuckers that run the world. You know what I'm saying? XLM, they're, they're just tasked with a different problem. Each one of these projects, like I, like I was saying before in the video that wasn't recorded, um... The World Economic Forum and all the fucking people that control the world have tasked all these groups of brilliant minds, they've tasked them with different solving different world problems, right? And so Casper, digitizing patents, enterprise use, upgradable smart contracts, DAG, they're working on freaking smart car technology, like self-driving car technology is what DAG's working on. And then they have GeoJam. GeoJam is like a like a new social app and shit. It's pretty cool. Um, XDC, you know what they're about. Trade finance. They're digitizing trade documents. <sighs> Dude, it's, it's so big. What else? What are the big ones? Hedera? Okay. They might be micropayments. I'm not sure what... They're, but they're partnered with the Air Force. So, I mean, they're doing something, right? And Hedera, H-Bar, is, like, they're owned by a big conglomerate of fucking huge enterprise companies like Google and fucking, like, all these companies. And they have a system where the companies that manage Hedera, like, rotate in and out of they rotate in and out of their uh, supremacy or something. I, how do I say this? Like, if they have a weird system set up. Hedera HBAR is kind of interesting. It's hash graph, so it's different technology. It's not blockchain, but it's similar, inspired by blockchain. You know, it's created by like, some weird motherfucker that, you know, he looks like he's a fucking clown, dude. It looks like his face is fucking, fucking stretched. Like, just some weird-ass motherfucker that's probably smart as fuck, you know. Um, and yeah, so a, a lot of big corporations own Hedera. So I mean, and it's like in the in the pennies, right? Okay, so it's it's too easy, right? So why are we buying? Why are we spending like five bucks on Bitcoin to own like one millionth of a Bitcoin when we could own like a thousand H bar or XTC or XRP or whatever? Like, okay. So what else are we talking about? 
Iota, we've got Iota, HBAR, and DAG. Those are the three evolutions of blockchain. Hashgraph is Hedera, directed acyclic graph is DAG, and Iota is called the Tangle. So, okay, so these are like blockchains that have been designed in a way where they're, they claim that they've solved the trilemma, which is the three problems, which is scalability, security, and speed. Okay, so the, block, the blockchain has had to evolve to try to solve these three problems. And so when I diversify, when I, yes, and like I said in the last video that I didn't record, I am your financial advisor. I'm going to advise you on finances. I'm going to give you advice. You could take it or tell me to fuck off. But yes, I'm not afraid. I'm a financial advisor. If you want to want to hang out with me don't sue me that's not the best way to do it you know what I'm saying but I'm giving you financial advice I'm telling you to buy this these fucking coins when they're really really low like right now you know and so these three DAG HBAR and IOTA it, IOTA is really hard to buy good luck with that but these three, three these three things are the evolution of blockchain okay so they might not pump when the bull run happens, but I think later on down the road, they're going to be worth more. So that that's like when we're investing, we're looking at what we think is going to go up in value now because it's the hot thing or because it's the technology that's needed now. And then we're looking at what is going to be the ultimate technology that's going to be used. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm not a trader. I don't want to go in and out of assets. That's way too stressful. But so what I do is I just I get in all these assets. I'm a collector, like I collect all my magic cards, you know. I collect all these things and then you just wait. You know, you just collect what you think to be the best projects with the best partnerships, the best technology, the best speed, the best lowest fees. Like you gotta go down the list. And partnerships, fake partnerships. One crypto said that they're partnered with Ledger. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. So, is that a real partnership, guys? So, you need to really analyze the quality of the partnerships and the honesty of whether they're actually partners or not. But I know the World Economic Forum runs all the world. They're tasked with running this fucked up world. And they probably don't like us. Because we're just a fucking bunch of fucking gluttonous ants fucking eating up every fucking thing they can eat up, you know. But they love their children. They want to weed down the population. But they've tasked a bunch of groups of brilliant minds that have their crypto projects. They've tasked each project with solving a big world problem, like cross-border payments, digitizing assets, you know, digitizing documents, making shit faster. Like, there's all, like, all these problems that need to be solved. Okay. So yeah, so th there's a bunch of YouTube people that are really good. So I think we're getting to the end of this. Like, if there's any questions, like drop it. Like, I'm not making money off this. I don't give a fuck. You don't have to give me likes. Like, whatever. I don't give a fuck. And I am your financial advisor. You know. So totally opposite from what everybody's saying. I'm not saying I'm better, but I just don't give a fuck. You know, just treat me with respect. If you want to talk shit, cool. Tell me how fucked up I am. That's cool. Like, maybe I need a fucking, a little enlightenment. Like, maybe I need the community to tell me, like, maybe I'm a little off a little bit. That's cool. You can tell me. But just drop it, you know? And, uh, I'll be hanging out with you guys later, because, holy shit, we're about to quit our fucking daytime jobs. <laughs> okay? Alright, so, later. <laughs>